All right, so we are, again, a couple of days away from kickoff, and the Steelers are making some moves, and they're making a bit of a change. Well, maybe not really much of a change, but they are um, using some money, and now there are some more options at the end of this one. What's going on, everybody? I'm Mac. Back with another video, as always, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, follow on Instagram. Link is in the box below. So, Cam Hayward, our 35-year-old defensive end, he got a little bit of a bag thrown at him yesterday. He was extended three years, $45 million, 15 a year, and only 16 of it is guaranteed, which I believe is just this year. And really, while a lot of Steeler fans are like, well, Cam Hayward is old, Cam Hayward needs to retire, his best days are behind him. I mean, yeah, I, I agree with that, kind of, because, you know, when you're a defensive player out there and you're in your mid-30s like that, and, you know, you, you've already used up the majority of your good years, you don't really have much to go but I do give Cam a little bit of the benefit of the doubt because he was hurt a lot of last year. Now he's coming back healthy this year. And to me, it just seems like that he just wants to end his career with the Steelers. You know, last year was kind of, you know, a, a lost year for him. And yes, I do agree that he needs to retire. He probably should. Okay. But, you know, I, I always love Cam. I've loved him ever since he came here. I, I've, you know, he's been one of my favorite defensive players that the Steelers have had for years now. He's always been one of my favorites. And I think if there's one player on this team that truly does have that leadership role, I think it might be Cam Hayward. You know, a lot of people were complaining about him in the offseason about him holding out, him not, you know, going to OTAs and practices and stuff like that. You know, I, I sat back and I was like, you know what? It's nothing to be too concerned about because it's kind of like a win-win for us because if he does come, then he's going to get what he wants, which is him just holding out because he wants a new contract. And if he doesn't come, then it's really not a significant loss because, like I said, it's his age and his production isn't what it used to be. But, you know, you're still a leader on the team, so – it was kind of like a win-win for us, you know, kind of in a way. But, yeah, you know, not a super exorbitant contract that he got. Three years, $45 million, only 16 guaranteed. And the best thing about it is that it, this actually opens up $9 million in cap space for us. And, you know, cap space is something that Steeler fans are looking heavily at, especially when it comes to who we're going to get in free agency, who we can trade for, who we can extend, et cetera. So this opens up the door for a lot of other options as, you know, it begs the question, you know, who's next to get extended for us? Like does Fryermuth get, you know, does Fryermuth get a bag thrown at him next? If he has a breakout year for us, we'll see about that. Um, yeah, you know, do we use some of that money to go after finally potentially getting another target? Or do we just, you know, extend someone else? I mean, there's a lot of questions to go through, you know, now that we have a little bit extra money in, in with the uh, salary cap. But, you know, as far as Cam Hayward's production goes, like I said, he wants to retire a Steeler. And, you know, even if, it's another lost year for him. We basically drafted his replacement last year in Keanu Benton. And Keanu Benton has, you know, Keanu Benton had a really good rookie season last year, albeit with that. And he's primed to be another solid standout on this defensive line. So, yeah, you know, really just pairing up Cam Hayward with Benton. And if Cam goes down again, Benton is just marinating under that. That's just really good, all things considered, for you know this defensive line. So, yeah, Cam Hayward is here for three more years, which will bring him to age 38. And in 2027, he'll have spent 16 years in the league, and 
he will retire a Pittsburgh Steeler, which I think was his plan all along. So yeah, those are just my general thoughts on it. I like the Cam's coming back. I really don't think it's a, a huge splash right there. I think it's just an extension that's just going to give this defense a leadership role and this team a leadership role, if I'm being honest with you. But let me know what you instinct down in the comments below. I'm Mac, checking on out for the day. Have a good one, everybody.